would you guys prefer? The bad would you guys prefer? The bad boy or the nice guy? The morally. Uh, basically, we can start here. What do you prefer? Oh, the last question. Yeah. Yep. Um. Honestly, I think it just depends on the context of the racism. Because if it's just uh, hilarious, then like if it's if it's jokingly, then like sure. Because I mean, like racist jokes are sometimes funny. Mm. But like if it's serious. But if it's serious, like I'd probably go for like the person who's bad in bed. All right. Okay. <laughs> for you. I mean, bad boy is racist or a good guy is morally sound. I mean, morally sound, a hundred percent. Got it. What about you? I go from my experience. I go like morally sound. So I rather sound? have the guy who sucks because you can teach him how to be mm-hmm. good and bad. Because when he loves you, he will be l- looking at down like on you and do everything for you. Mm. What is your spot? You know. Right. Because usually the guy who's like. Attracting that, he has a lot of experience, has probably had a lot of girls. But do you like training your guy, though? Shouldn't he know what to do from jump? I think he should know your body. Mm. Like, know the woman's body, okay. actually. Yeah. That's fair. What about you? Bad boy, it's kind of racist, sexist, or morally sound guy, nice guy? Uh, I'm going to marry the uh, morally sound man, and then I'm going to fuck the guy who could fuck. <laughs> do you, do you, you red lens is on. Yeah, that's, red lens is on. Even, that's pretty real. Uh, do you cheat on your current man? Is it cheating yeah. if you have the conversation? So it's open on your end. I mean, if I let you know, then what's the issue? <laughs> okay. So it's open. Wow. It just be, tr- be oh. truthful. Be straight about it. Is that's he open or no? I found a man who lives in the middle of nowhere. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Bro, so you're having fun oh, traveling wow. and stuff. Okay. No. So, okay, question. Because, all right, so it's you open like relationship for both of you or just open on your side? I never said it was open. I just said that we have communication. If there's something I do, I'm going to go and talk to him about it and say, hey, look, this is what I did. Are you okay with it or not okay with it? If you're not okay with it, then leave me. If you're not morally okay with that, then go ahead oh, and go. Oh, so you'll, you'll, you, sure, you shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> okay, so you don't, even, you don't run it by him. You just do what you want and then... Just tell him after. I'm going to let him know for sure. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, so hypothetically. I'm not saying I've done that yet, but that, that that's the situation. That I've the done cap. it before. I've done it before in relationships. That's Do you what... think this guy, like hypothetically speaking, let's say you found a guy here in Miami and you hooked up with him and you went back to, same, <laughs> to, uh, to Missouri and said, hey, I hooked up with a guy in Miami. Do you think he'd be okay with that? It's not possible because I won't be hooking up with any boys in Miami. But hypo- I'm but, asking hypothetical yeah, questions. There's no chance. The, the person I am, they could never. Nobody here is ever going to get it. Now, if you find me out in the middle of the woods with some cowboys, then yeah, he could ask that question. And yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna ask. I'm going I'm to tell him later. I'm going to tell him afterwards. Confidence yeah. is startling. I'm going to tell him afterwards. It- I'm, I'm just saying hypothetically. I'm going to pick up the phone and be like, hey, I think this man's really fucking odd. He's turning me on. Can I go fuck him? <laughs> Like, yeah, so you're just gonna weird. he's you're just gonna cook. do it. Yeah, you're just gonna no, do it. It's not weird. Yeah. yeah okay. So if, if if I really feel the need to be with someone, then that's what I'm gonna do. Just and then I'm gonna question myself the next day <laughs> of like, just... do I really do I really like the man I'm with if I just let some other boy spoon me? Like that's that's you know that that's a conversation I'm gonna have afterwards. Okay. And, and that's not even a if I if I'm spooned by some little boy, then I, I didn't like the guy I was with. All right. So to me, it sounds like you got a guy now. But if something better comes along, you're going to entertain it and you're not going to like miss out on that opportunity. Um, yeah. And then you will tell him after the fact, yo, I found somebody else or I did this. Uh, not and long then term, he's just got to deal with it. Uh, not long term. I wouldn't let it escalate too far. I would let them know immediately like, hey, you know, I, I like immediately. Damn. The, the, you would let what? Cowboy know or the guy that you got with just now? You would tell him? Oh, the boy I would just get with now. He would know I already have somebody. Okay. And, and, and let's be honest. They're not going to care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. They're gonna do it anyway. That part. So, but your but your boyfriend, you're gonna tell him, you're gonna do what you want, and then you're gonna just tell him after the fact. Are you okay with like, like potential consequences of him leaving you or anything? Or are you that confident he's not going nowhere? It's not that I'm that confident that he's not going where. It's more of the fact of like if I let him know, like, hey, look, I fail. That's the part about relationships. Like, hey, look, I misstepped. I fucked up. Here is what it is. If you absolutely hate me after this conversation awesome but at least i feel good on my conscience that i came and talked to you about it <laughs> good on your conscience, yeah, conscience you... if you decide to leave me because of me coming to you and being straight about it then that is what it is that's all, that's your decision to make His as a person yeah. just like i have my decision to make too and my decision was to be straight with you do you respect so. your man like really respect him no. nope i mean we've been together for six <laughs> months uh, yeah, okay 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 yeah. that, that uh, i sense. would um <laughs> Uh, I mean, just I from can't. I would I, I would uh, I can't with that. I would label your boyfriend as a placeholder. Placeholder is basically boyfriend. what it is. Uh, He's yep. kind of cuck. You're you're you, you know call him that. You're, you're call out in the that. middle of nowhere. You know, 
in nowhere. Damn. There's not many options out there. So you're like, you know what? This guy does the job for me out here. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't say I'm in the middle of nowhere. I live in the city and I travel all the time. I said he's in the middle of nowhere, so I don't have to worry about him doing anything. That's what I said. I said, my man, I'm not going to find my man out doing something with some girl because... What? Where are the girls at? She's the boss, man. No, she's where the, the girls at? Yeah, she's Interesting. Wow. Hey. He's a good boy that keeps his ass at home. That's oh, what I have a question. You call him a so boy? Do you oh, think that that's fair to him? That's like, crazy. if the shoe was on the bro. other that's foot crazy. and, like, he found a job that, like, he could, like, travel and he started traveling and he was doing the same thing you were doing, how would you feel about that in that situation? Because right now it seems like because he can't go anywhere and he's in the middle of nowhere, as you put it, <laughs> that you're taking advantage and you're <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to oh, do what shit. I want. But if the shoe was on the other foot... Your feelings would be fucked. No offense, like no Point offense, period. but no, they I, I've be. been in that situation. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm an open person. I don't so. think you're that open though, yeah. because you're, like I, I, I said, I feel like this. you're taking advantage of the situation because he can't go anywhere. But if you were to <laughs> he I guess, say <laughs> find somewhere, if he were to find somewhere, or whatever, and he Beast. had like he could mm -hmm. travel or whatever or do something, and he was doing the same thing you were doing, you would feel very, very, very in your feelings. I would so tell I don't him think that, that that's fair. if you feel like that's what you want to do, please make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, we're all getting buried by ourselves. So I just hope that whatever she don't like him that much, man. Yeah. 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 She doesn't like him that much. Yeah. She doesn't like him that much. You should leave him alone so this, you can yo, find yo, someone this nice. Is, real talk. This is actually for the audience. So is, can he, learn. is he a real alpha male? Stop, this is, stop, stop, this stop, is the definition of a placeholder boyfriend, guys. I mean, you guys are getting it right here, right now. Like This is the definition of a placeholder boyfriend. Call him a boy. Call him a boy. You're not playing. You're a little demon. God damn. Yeah, man. Okay. Shut up, Jay Waller, man. So, yeah. Okay. So bad boy, sexist racist, or good boy that's morally sound? I'm going to go for the good boy because there's 24 hours in the day. Stop the cap. And no, I am. And stop the cap. No, I will. I will because I can say this because I've had both. And I was happier with the good boy who was shitty in bed, who wasn't like the bad boy saying all these Why'd things. Why'd you leave him then? Where's he now? The what? The Why'd good you boy. leave him? Yeah. Where's he now? Why'd you the leave good him boy, there? he left me because he couldn't take all the OnlyFans money oh. and being onto Instagram yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But I still, yes, of course. Having tough, man. Sex, having You're in a tough spot, Alexis. You're in yeah, a tough spot. You, yeah, man. Bro, you're almost You're in a 30, tough man. spot, man. You're almost 30. Figure Holy. it out. Oh. Nah, it was having tough. sex with the bad boy is great, but I, I prefer to be happy with someone <laughs> next to me, even if the sex is shitty, which is not, because if you got a penis, I'm going to make it work. There's no such thing as bad dick. <laughs> like, if you part. got it, I'm going to make it feel good. 100%. You can lay there and it's going to feel good for me. I mean, so, there's no such well, thing no, as bad kinda, sex. Women one. is in the head, right? Yeah. They get you know, it's how you head. feel about the person. Because yeah. with the other person, with the bad boy, if I think about what he's saying and all these nasty races, all these things, and I have been with someone like, just like this, and I could really like say, I'm not going to feel that way about him in bed. Okay. I'm not going to want to please him because he's a, a mean person outside of the bedroom. You know, so I'm definitely gonna it say is mental, I'm, so I, get I just want the peaceful life because I'm gonna feel better about sleeping with you on the end of the day. I don't know, man. Oh, I guarantee man. if I lined up the 15 niggas that you yeah. smashed, they're probably all very similar and probably assholes to a degree. Yeah. They are. But, <laughs> but, 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 some more than others. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Right. Yo, yeah. child, man. You got caught in 4K like this. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. What's yeah. up, yeah. man? Yeah. Holy. What's the line of text to us, Tony? No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's funny. Man. You don't date niggas, it's man. It's funny. Yeah, man. Ask a girl about her ex, tell you everything. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you look at like a girl's ex boyfriends, a lot yeah. of the times they're going to be way more similar. Okay. Than you, than, than you think. Mm -hmm. Like, women really don't like variety in men like we want in women. Like, they, yeah. women have a type and they kind of stick on that type most of the time. And they might deviate once and try something new, but most of the time they stick to the same dude. I'm going to mention, if they actually made a change for that type of guy, yeah. it's because they're broken. Which kind of fucks. It's fucked yeah, that's yeah. the truth. It's, it's from trauma. Through. That's yeah. why we're attracted ran to certain through. types of men. No, it dicks. is what it is. No, it yeah. sucks, but. Yeah. Okay, right. what about you? Uh, bad boy, sexist racist, or <laughs> good boy, morally sound? I would take the boy that's bad in bed because I like to teach people things. I mean, you used to be a teacher, so you. makes sense. All right, cool. What about you? <laughs> the morally sound. Why? Um, everyone's trainable. <laughs> exactly. Would you want to be with a guy that you have to train? Really? Um. Sit down. Yeah, I've, I've been there in that position before. Where's he at now, then? Not with me. <laughs> he left you or you left him? I left him. Of course. Oh, so clearly it doesn't work, right? Training guys? No, it it still works. I trained him. And y'all are not together, so clearly it doesn't work. 
Well, there's other reasons of why it didn't work. Nice why didn't it work that. then? Oh, we shouldn't get into that. I mean, if Did you he... trained them properly, I mean, it should have worked, right? He probably trained you. No, not at all. <laughs> so you trained him. So then, why didn't it work? If you built him up to the boy, be the boyfriend you want, doesn't make sense. There's a lot that goes into that, but he was trainable. Everyone's trainable. Well, if you trained him, then how do he fail? I can't say. I guess the trainer's a failure then. No. <laughs> no. So then no, tell no, us no. what happened. <laughs> I can't. Not on here. <laughs> what the hell did he do? It's a law enforcement. Uh, did he smack you? No. <laughs> she no. smacked him. <laughs> yes. Yes. Learn, bitch. <laughs> Coco. <Calcone>. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, man. Yo, bro. Yo, I, I'd say on the podcast all the time, women are not leaders. Eh, no offense. But you guys just keep proving me ah. right all the time. Yeah. Like, you, you don't build a man up, Because I tell you this, man. If I had a girl and I built her up into the girl that I, that I want, yeah. I ain't going nowhere. She's fucking going to uh, turn her into the girlfriend I want. Like, men are able to train women into the woman they love, but women will train a man into something they hate. 100%. But you don't know.